Chapter 11, Mishnah 4. If a married woman says, Konam, that I shall not do any work for my father's mouth, that is, she forbids her father to benefit from anything she makes or from any money she earns, or if she says to her husband, I shall not do any work for your father's mouth, or I shall not do any work for my brother's mouth, or I shall not do any work for your brother's mouth, in all these cases her husband cannot cancel her neder, because it causes her no personal suffering and does not hurt her relationship with him. The Mishnah cites a dispute about a similar kind of neder. If a woman says to her husband, Konam, that I shall not do any work for your mouth, that is, she forbids him to benefit from anything she makes or from any money she earns, he need not cancel the netter because it is automatically void. Since a wife is obligated to do certain work for her husband and give him her earnings, she does not have the power to prohibit him from taking those benefits. But Rabbi Akiva says he can cancel it because she might earn more than what he deserves based on her obligation to him. Since she is not obligated to give him that extra amount, her netter would forbid him to benefit from it, which would hurt their relationship. Therefore, he could cancel the netter. And Rabbi Yochanan ben Nuri says he could cancel it for a different reason. He might divorce her, at which time her netter would take effect, with the result that he will not be allowed to benefit from anything she makes or earns, and she will thus be forbidden to him. That is, he will not be allowed to remarry her because he could not avoid benefiting from her work. Since her netter could hurt their relationship in the future by forbidding him to re from remarrying her, he could cancel it even now.